So Omicron is doing its thing, and I thought I'd share with you an analogy that a friend shared with me that I really liked. COVID and its many variants are like a test for your immune system. The vaccine is like getting the answers to 40 to 60% of the test before you take it. Most of us see the benefit of having the answers to 40 to 60% of a test before we take it, but a pesky bunch of you are out there digging your heels in and saying that you want a 100% A-plus guarantee or nothing at all. And that's stupid. But I'm gonna take this analogy a little bit further. The thing about this test is you die when you fail it. And getting a C or D is also not great. And it's being graded on a curve. So all of you people who refuse to take the answer packet are bringing the class average down and making us all take it over and over and over again. And every time we take it, it's a new version of the test that's slightly rewritten. So the answer packet that we were given to the first version might not work as well, which increases our chances of failing the test and dying. And that's why we care what you do on this test. I know there's already several of you typing in the comments, why do you care what choices I make about my personal health, my body, my choice? That's why. I just told you. I just said it in the video. So stop typing, delete that comment. I just told you the answer. So we're all just begging you, like, please take the answer packet. And you're like, I don't know where that answer packet came from. And we're like, what are you talking about? It came from the teacher, the person who knows more about this subject matter than anyone in the class. And you're like, how do I know I can trust the teacher? How do I know this teacher isn't just part of a conspiracy to try to kill me? And we're like, dude, we all took the answer packet and none of us have died. The only people that are dying en masse are the people who didn't take the answer packet. And you're like, what about Scott? Scott took the answer packet and he got a blood clot and died. And we're like, Scott is one person out of billions of people who have taken the answer packet. And we don't even know that his blood clot was related to the answer packet. What we do know is that the overwhelming majority of people who have died since the answer packet was made available are people who didn't take the answer packet. And you're like, isn't the fact that we keep having to take this test over and over again proof that the answer packet wasn't that great? And we're like, oh my God, the reason we keep having to take the test over and over again is because you refused to take the answer packet the first time we took it. And I know that people in the anti-vax community struggle with understanding analogies, so I don't know why I just did that, but... Please, please get vaccinated.